Good morning, Closer Gang. Welcome to another day. Right now, we're actually gonna meet down with three huge different developers, and we're gonna have a sit down, talk about a lot of things, connect with everyone. I'm David, David Abke. I'm a New York City real estate broker, but I'm also a developer and an investor in many other companies. But these guys have been truly inspirational. Listen to all three of them talk and give us a little bit of background on where they came from, how they achieved their goals, and how they leveraged but also fell and found ways to get up. And the lessons they learned was truly magnificent. The only thing I can say is that I am truly inspired sitting down with these monsters to see also what amazing, generous, incredible people they are overall and also see the rise of success that they actually achieved. This is sick. We have so much more for you guys. and nobody wanted When was it? it? This was, we're talking about 35 years ago. And nobody wanted these kind of buildings. Everybody wanted single story. And nobody saw the life of a loft building, you know? And when I decided to, you know, it was maybe about 15 million of industrial and residential, a couple of hundred units of residential. Really what I built in a lifetime of real estate, but I do miss the garment business. The action is like Vegas, you know? It's like, you know, you design, you constantly, that's what I do, I'm a designer. My real education is in medicine, really? pharmaceuticals, yeah. So I left Yeshiva and I wound up being accepted to St. John's University. I can't even begin to tell you what that's like. You leave Yeshiva life and then Jesus is hanging on the corner of every class. <laughs> yeah, it was really amazing. I'm gonna open a complaint box. I know, I know. <laughs> but listen, you know, you can't do everything in life alone also, so you have to accept, you have to accept your strengths and your weaknesses, you know what I'm saying? And you hope that your strengths overpower the weaknesses and not the other way around. You never know who you get into bed with because the reality of it is the person you get into bed with today is not the person that you know five years or ten years from now. And it's like a wife. <laughs> what you knew at 15 and 18 and 20, you know, ten years later it's all different for you. I've been in business for, let's say our office exists about uh, 11 years. Wow, cool. But uh, it's uh, in my head, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a very tough ride, you know, it's, it's crazy. I literally almost told a few, you know, after 10 years we've been working so hard and then got very fast in his group. Sure. I said, you know, why don't you just, I'll leave one office with one of my, with just my few, my best agent, like 10, 15. I don't need that headache because it's basically being a kindergarten yeah, manager over there. A lot of it's an ups and down business. And, uh, and I decided uh, maybe it's best for me to focus in the East, you know, it's like a new win for me doing all this investment. I know so much about the market, about every single square foot of how much it costs, and I could add a lot of value to that. But my wife was like, no, this is like our baby, you never give up on it. I said, I'm not giving up on it, I'm just doing something I think is better. And September, October came around. And then when a lot of small companies closed because of COVID and a lot of brokers that were, were afraid of meeting people and there was so much in land or hungry, just get us anybody. Because we had a plan to rebrand before COVID, we put our name drawer and now it's the perfect time. We're rebranding, opening the branches, we, make, we have more exclusives than ever before. We're closing about four times the deals because of 2019 in the past six months. That's great. A lot of people did well during, during COVID, yeah. as, as crazy as it sounds. No, it does sound crazy and it's very true. We got uh, David here, who's a superstar, and uh, even though I raised him, when we started, a lot of started my office as a like very great. young agent, but we were a very small company. Right. We had bigger dreams, and it's a very, we were a very small shop. And now I think we got to the point that he's uh, super experienced in Brooklyn. And we, we opened our second branch in Chelsea that I showed you. Right. Right. We're actually walking and moving, 15 agents a lot. And soon we believe in it. For three months, we're going to take another one in the East Village. 
people are getting an opportunity to experience something that they never had before. If you get a chance to live in Manhattan, you should do it at least once in your lifetime. You know, yeah. people that now have the opportunity, whether it's to, to live alone and not have to share a space with somebody or buy something a little bit better than what they're used to, that's that's what's going on. That's what's driving the market. It's really a small version of the Chelsea market, but wow. but yet big enough if we wanted to. Yeah, and we can build all kinds of stuff across the street, whether. We're just going over uh, once a little area in the back where she wants to turn part of the back of the building into like a... Uh, it's like a cool creative concept where a lot of agents don't even think about it because like you said, a lot of people are just there to make enough money to live and get out. Um, and it's like cross collabing, hence why we're doing social media and why we're investing into it and why we're trying to also build like a social media real estate type of firm is because there's so much business that you can conduct from it but you can also collab and do like an art gallery and a broker's open slash art gallery where you're bringing in many people and kind of like educating them on getting loans and the real estate market and how they can get their hands on it and, and so forth. And it's like, there's cool things that can be done. There were numerous things that, uh, you know, the, 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 the arts is just one area. We were going to collaborate with uh, some writers that are in the area also and have like a writing room and a reading room take one of the shows here, create that. Uh, there, there's the visual arts also, which is a big part of it, and we were gonna create, where they would have a green screen where they can actually film little, little short short movies or short essays like, and plays. It's like and, a spring place, you know, uh, you know Sprite? In yeah. Chabaka? Yeah, <laughs> so, so the idea was whatever WeWorks did, but to do it for all different areas of the arts. You know what you should look into as well? Oh man. Like yeah. NFT Trust art. Me, this, this. NFT art. Yeah, no. That's the new that's the yeah. new way. People are yeah. buying digital minted images yeah. of things and to put it on big screens in the gallery by the so, artist that we have I'm so confused by that. I know. Yeah. And it, it's funny, <laughs> so, it just looks like a like a pencil drawing, you know, it just you sit at it and you look at it and it draws out one pencil and one line, you know, without stopping. Uh, it's cool. We actually have here a company called Andy that makes artwork that sells online. And it's pretty cool. It's a lot of digital art, a lot of uh, all kinds of skateboards where they put heavy acrylic on it. It's so crazy. It's manufactured here. If you sit on the sidelines, it passes you by. You know what I mean? So you have to make a decision. So the informed decision would be make sure you're buying in the right neighborhood. And that question I'm sure has been discussed many times in the past 15 years. There's been many times that Manhattan seemed to be like way too expensive, overblown, and it, also there were times in the 80s it was like that, there was times in the 90s it was like that. Yeah. I remember my father, when we were here, I used, yeah. I used to go to summer camp in Canada, we came to New York, and somebody often went to visit friends in downtown Battery Park, and somebody often, yeah. you know, like a two-bedroom condo for like $90,000, Yeah. and he goes, are you out of here? You know what I get in a lot for ninety thousand dollars? Who would buy a two pager for ninety thousand dollars? You gotta be insane. That's way too expensive. Good job. Smart decision for passing on it. How can you, how can you know? How can, like, it's also you don't know. It's really you're investing into the future anytime you're buying. We were the first building in that area to been converted to residential. We were the only building. There was still all the shit was still all around us. All the graffiti was still there. All the factory buildings. Like the still central place of Williamsburg. It's it's an unbelievable thing for me to to walk there and see, you know what it's what it's been transformed to. I used to walk to the on the corner. There used to be a a little Polish uh, coffee shop on, on on Bedford and North Ninth. The local locksmith. I mean, I knew all of them. That I felt like part of uh, being like a mayor of the town there when we were converting the building, you know. And everybody knew it was coming, you know. And, and the park was right there. I, I felt the park is really cool. Here, uh, it is one of the coolest parks. Yeah, ever. Nice. yeah. I, I, the only regret, and I can tell you, watching everything go up all around me, and I, I developed on Union. The only regret was that uh, they didn't have a better control of what they built around the park. It's just such a mushmash of yeah. shit. They could have done nothing. A nothing yeah. looks the same. <clears throat> different heights, different sizes. It's really ugly. They could have done a lot better because that really is just a like Miami point. Beach. No, Miami Beach. No, Miami Beach. Is not so mess. Miami is. Uh, yeah, but Miami is a little bit different. Miami. Yeah. 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 So that. Yeah. So that. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. All right, thank yeah. you. Take care. Uh, we, got the, we got the blueprint. We changed everything.
<laughs> so yeah, so it'll be cool. We'll be on the second floor. Okay. Enjoy the right now. Thank man. you so much. Take Appreciate care. you. Bye bye. Bye, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Right now, what we're doing is we're getting a lot of footage and clips because we're gonna do something. We're gonna do something super crazy for the office. A, that we're opening up a brokerage. B, we're making a crazy video, like something like high end, like multiple videographers, editors, and everything that we're taking on to make these videos for avenues. We're just collecting so much footage and knowledge and everything to do like mushroom at the left. Um, I completely agree with what you're saying when it comes to uh, not being over leveraged. I'm not waiting for you guys, I'm slicing on uh, Slicing, me too. You know what? So when Josh was talking about his third purchase in real estate, he actually bought this behemoth, but before this behemoth was here, he actually acquired this as a piece of land, and he built this from ground up. And over here, you have the first, and prior to it, this entire area was only zoned for commercial and industrial. And he actually, after two and a half years worth of work, rezoned this building to actually be semi-commercial and also residential at the same time. And you have over here offices, gyms, but also apartments for rent. Check this out, guys. <laughs> I want to do a glow. Uh, a glow. Yes, yes, yes. Slap me for example. This is the the no, I don't do it. I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the table. First of all, I don't want to show you what I'm doing on the table. First of all, there was a wall of dreams here. Do you want it? He showed us the wall and said to me, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. So I actually asked Josh, how much square foot do you own to date? And he told me he owns a whopping of 10 million industrial square foot. And on top of that, he also owns over 250,000 square foot of residential property, which is insane. And now he just relocated to Miami, where he already bought in Florida a half a million square foot. And he's just trying to pump it up until he gets to 10 million. That's his course of action. This is insane. This is next level real estate. Now, the other two guys at the meetings was Itai and Ophir. Now let's get into Itai. Itai is a notorious developer, but also a real estate broker. We're gonna pop on the screen a few of his projects that he's currently working on and actually built. On top of that, we're gonna show you a little bit about his brokerage. Right now, he has a Midtown office with actually 80 agents right now employed. And he just opened up the Chelsea office and he has a few other brokerages rolling out. So this is super sick. Check out these buildings and let us know what you think. Leave a comment below. Now, Fear is also a real estate developer. He's super amazing and successful at what he does. But on top of that, he's also an attorney and he also owns a lot of other companies. For example, he has his Miami Ara company, which is one of the best drinks that you can actually get out there. And he actually started that company up with Josh. So that's incredible to say the least. So this is crazy. The story is truly inspiring. From being in the garment business all the way to getting into this and starting in real estate, especially in an area and areas that weren't considered anything fabulous to say the least. And today, this is prime Williamsburg. The square footage has gone up and you've seen how much money people can actually make. This is why I urge you guys, invest in real estate, invest in yourself, and also invest in your future because you never know where it might take you. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video and leave some comment. We really appreciate it. And if you wanna join the mentorship program, click the link below. It's right over there. And on top of that, if you wanna invest into your future, we have Webull, Robinhood, and Coinbase. Go collect your free stocks and start investing in your future. I love you guys. See you on the next one. So ice for y'all. A6 all the hate. I walk in a bar today. Got lost in the ball and A's. 
I'm flipping the bars, I'm flipping the, 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 flipping